bust there on uh, Aliyev. Featherweight title up for grabs for Quintana, who has the two inch height advantage, one inch reach advantage. Both 30 year olds. So Quintana gets a shot at the strap. Our tail of the tape brought to you by Sheep Underwear. Yeah, Andres Quintana, we, you know, we were talking about this a little earlier, he tends to take a fewer chances with his more experienced opponents. So the guys that are, you know, five and one, four and one, three and one, he'll take chance against them. You'll see these big finishes, either by submission or by knockout. But his more experienced opponents, it's gone the distance a lot of the times. You don't see him take as many chances. Let's see how he feels about uh, Aliyev here, if he feels like he's a, he's a formidable threat. We'll go inside to Wayne for our official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest brought to you by BumpBox.com is scheduled for five rounds and is your main event for the Fury FC Interim Featherweight Championship. Your main event is sanctioned by the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation. Your judges at cage side, Ivan Guzman, Chance Williams, and Joe Solis. And now, Houston, Texas, the time for talk is over. It's time to unleash the fury. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. This orthodox striker stands five feet, nine inches tall, and he weighed in at 148 pounds even. Fighting out of Nakhchivan, Azerbaijan, he holds a professional record. 12 victories, four defeats, one no contest. This is the Azeri warrior, Hussein Aliyev. And introducing his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. This striker stands six feet tall, and he weighed in officially at 144.8 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, he holds a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. This is Andres, the Bullet Quintana. And now referee Jake Montalvo with your final championship instructions. All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Let's have a good fight. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my commands at all times. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. Good luck, gentlemen. All right, so here we go. Main event of our evening UFC, or excuse me, Fury FC 57 here on UFC Fight Pass. And gentlemen, this is going to be a showdown between Hussein Aliyev and the bullet Andres Quintana. Andres Quintana comes out immediately with that low, that low kick. Yeah, Aliyev has good durability. It does absorb some strikes, but man, he keeps coming forward. He's a volume fighter. He's got good cardio, and even if he gets tired, he doesn't care. He'll still fight super hard. It's the mindset he brings. Representing Azerbaijan. Trying to become the first fighter from there to make it to the UFC. The Azeri warrior, Hussein Aliyev. You see Quintana, like you were saying, Michael, he is being pretty patient. He's using a, a low kick arsenal to kind of find his range. Yeah, seems very relaxed in there right now. Uh, he does have his hands a little bit low. You see the difference in the in the stances. Quintana's got his hands down just a little bit, maybe inviting uh, Aliyev to come there and throw some punches. Uh, because I know, you know, Andres Quintana likes to counter punch. Ooh, oh. big right hand right there. I'm not too sure why. Uh, why they said sorry and touched gloves. Yeah. It seemed yeah. like he did exactly what he was supposed to do. He clubbed yeah. him with the punch. Yeah. <laughs> game hey, yeah. game so recognized game, baby. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that, Andres. <laughs> sorry about that right hand. Big low kick there. Yeah, those low kicks are going to start to wear on Aliyev pretty soon. Those are landing in just the right spot. Big entry. See if this takedown can't come to fruition for Aliyev. He does have his fingers clasped, he has his hands together. Time to scoop, and scoop he did. Andres Quintana gotta be careful there. It looked like he may have thought about grabbing the cage there. Couldn't tell if he actually did, but nothing doing. Aliyev getting him to the mat pretty simply. Aliyev so strong with that wrestling. 
just stick on you. You know, really, you were talking about those knees to the thigh, those knees to the glutes. The, those will do damage, especially over a five-round fight. That will slow down your mobility, make your legs feel heavy, take some pop off the punches. That beautiful snap down. Almost was able to get behind him, which is what his goal was. But snapping him down, had his feet in the correct position to be able to get his right foot back behind his hips. Once he did that, snapped him down, ducked under that arm. But Quintana right back to the same position, popped right back up. You hear the Aliyev fans chanting Azerbaijan. So much more than an MMA fight for these fans, for Aliyev, trying to make history. Trying to get that call to the UFC to represent. And this is what I mean about, about Hussein Aliyev. He's just, he's active. You know, he's, he's always looking to score. He's always looking to do some damage. Not always the prettiest, but man, he, he knows his style. He knows how to make it work. And I will tell you this, uh, you know, like you said earlier, Alex, we don't know exactly what happened with the weight cut. That is something in order to make it to the next level, he's going to have to get that under control. Yeah, 100%. And believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, there is a correct way to use the cage uh, to make sure that your position is held in this position. And Quintana's doing it uh, textbook right now. And that's why you see Aliyev trying to stomp on those toes, getting to move those feet. Big pick up and bomb down. And Aliyev just being a bully to Andres Quintana right now. This is a display by Aliyev. Aliyev's got good crowd support. It's not the biggest group, but it is a loud group. And I'll tell you, when a fight does go the distance, anytime Aliyev does anything, the crowd erupts. And, 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 and that has an effect to the judges. Whereas Kanata could hit a big takedown, they don't make a noise, it doesn't seem so impactful. You saw Khabib giving some love to Aliyev on our Fury Fighting Instagram. Hey man, that's, that's the guy you want to get love from. Khabib's the best to ever do it. Aliyev just working, applying constant pressure on the bullet. Yeah, you know, I looked at the bullet's record, 19 and three, a lot, a lot of finishes early on. So, you know, on paper, he just seemed like a buzzsaw, but then I've talked to you a bit, Michael, he is a bit conservative, a bit too conservative for my taste. We'll see if he does open up, but he's effectively done nothing over five minutes. Yeah, and you know that's that that's been you know if there's a knock on a guy that's 19 and three, I mean that that would be it. So it's really hard to find things to to you know to say negative about someone who's got such a, a, a record of 19 and three. I mean he's a he's a really talented, really good, uh, you know, really tough fighter. It's just got to got to take some chances there. Take a look at the highlights here in our main event. And that round could not have gone better for Aliyev. I mean, if that's an overhand right. I mean, that's as overhand as an overhand right could ever get. You see Aliyev in deep on a double leg. He connects his fingers, gets a big lift. Yeah, can John tried to plant his feet on the ground and just missed it by a few inches. You'll see Quintana Qu 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 get back up to his feet, and Aliyev just dumps him hard right here in this body lock in just a moment. Big, big takedown, suck the hips out. You know, between rounds, Alex, I really like to look at the fighter's body language. And the body language of Aliyev right now is I can't wait to get back out yeah. there. And Quintana is a little more relaxed and a little more, you know, holy cow, what am I what am I into right now? I mean, yeah, you're in a you're in a high level fist fight. That's right. You gotta have some high energy to match. Second round. Underway. You know, that's the importance of uh, having a good relationship with your coach in an active corner. Sometimes you gotta wake the fighters up. And we'll see if uh, if that's gonna happen for Quinata here. For Quintana, probably the big lesson here is don't end up on the ground. Don't yeah. don't land up, don't land in his grip at all because we know Aliyev is so strong with that wrestling. And he will hit a lot of takedowns. I've seen Aliyev in his past fight to hit a big takedown. The guy will scramble up, he'll hit another takedown. And it's really, it's good activity, it scores well. 
Quintana just dropping his hands, waiting for Aliyev to throw something, maybe get a counter. <laughs> I'd like to see the hands out of uh, Quintana here. Which is boxing a bit more. Oh. And that's what I mean. Hussein's not the prettiest fighter, but I'll tell you, he makes it work for himself a lot of the time. Yeah, Quintana's going to have to stop worrying about their show here, and he's going to have to get busy fighting. Yeah. Bullet daring Ali have to throw something. Mm. And I've seen Hussein take a lot of damage and just keep coming forward. You're gonna have to do more than just be active. You're gonna have to really try to hurt him. Oh! oh! Big right hand! Aliyev all over Andres Quintana! <laughs> I mean, another super overhand. As over as the overhand could have gotten, he dropped Quintana. I mean, and he looked like he was carrying a suitcase there. He looked like he <laughs> threw a suitcase over his head. And there he goes again with another big right hand. How Quintana isn't done is beyond me. Ali yes, still bringing more pressure, trying to get something, and Quintana with a Hail Mary right that force missed. And, and Ali Evs just smells blood in the water right now. And that's what's fun about MMA. You get a guy who's 19 and three, and he gets dropped bad by a, a just a crazy punch that <laughs> came out of nowhere. It came from the ceiling. You play with fire, you're gonna get burned. Oh, Dropping man. those hands, egging on Aliyev to throw something, and he threw something, guys. Yeah, Aliyev threw that lunchbox right <laughs> over the top, and <laughs> Quintana right on the point with it. Looks like he was swinging a sledgehammer. Yeah. And let's give credit to the bullet. Andres Quintana, I mean, withstood that flurry, withstood that huge, huge right. And we're still in the second round with 2.15 left. You yeah. know, we were criticizing the bullet a little bit for not opening up. He opens up, and then what happens? He gets cracked with a whopper of a punch. Yeah, we'll be quiet now. And <laughs> this is why. This is why us two, happen. we're here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alex actually goes in there, right? But us two, yeah. Yeah. Man, yeah. what a second round so far for Hussein Aliyev. Yeah, and right now, Quintana just trying to get his, his bearings back. He was, I mean, he was absolutely dropped there with that overhand right. Spun him around and everything. Yeah, and then, and then he took a few shots, uh, that's a few left hands there while he was on the ground. Pretty amazing that he was able to get up from that. We saw Hussein grabbing the edge a bit. Didn't matter though, lets it go, grabs the legs. Of course, that slam takes a lot out of Quintana, but right back up. Is that just more demoralizing? Does it me mess with the tank a little bit? I mean, yeah, you know, getting picked up and dumped, it, it, it does kind of change your breathing rhythm a little bit, but you know you just got picked up and ragdolled. I mean, it just never feels good, it doesn't look good. Yeah, and especially, you know, if, if this goes into the third round, Quintana's down two rounds to none. Yeah. And, you know, I'm sure, I didn't see the odds on this, but I'm sure that, that Aliyev was the underdog. Oh, had to by have quite been. a bit. Had to have been. When I, when I showed my coach this matchup, he was like, man, are they bringing in Hussein to get beat? And I was like, you know, I don't know. I don't know this guy, but man, Hussein is by no means fighting fight like the, the underdog here. I mean, he's controlling this fight in every aspect, on the feet, on the cage, and on the ground. 35 seconds here in the second round. Yeah, and he's kind of doing the same things over and over and just making them work. He's, his punches are basically that overhand right, and... His, and then it goes straight into the cage and, and pushing Quintana up there, double leg right down to the ground. Keep it simple. Yeah, and it's working for him. And Quintana, I mean, he, he's got to earn the respect of Hussein. And, and, and honestly, of, of the fight fans here, he's, he's really done nothing over 10 minutes now. We end the second round here. and. How Quintana got out of that second round is beyond me, but here we are, because as you'll see in the replay, it looked like it was over. Yeah, I'm very excited to see this, this sledgehammer of a punch. <laughs> it looked like he was driving a railroad bike with this thing. <laughs> I mean, oh, right over the top, lands right on the jawline. And it, it spun him around. Almost hit his head down on the bottom of the cage there. Faint jab, duck the head, and bomb a right hand. And it literally makes makes 
Uh, Quintana hit a 360. I mean, spins him around, recovers well. But yeah, Quintana got himself immediately into a position to where it was a good defense position where it was really hard to land punches, but I mean, LDF never let up. Is that a 10-8 round? I, I would think it was. I mean, yeah, it was, it was all offense to nothing with a drop. Yeah, look at Ali. <laughs> says, when can I fight? Like, soon, soon, soon. <laughs> Give it a few seconds. Let him shut the cage. Yeah, he's like a dog waiting on you to throw a tennis ball. He's <laughs> just ready to, to take off sprinting. Aliyev looking so fresh. Even after that work, he just put in the second round. Grinding out the second round after that huge knockdown. Quintana just trying to figure out something here. See what he can get. Two good calf kicks there from Hussein. Yeah, Hussein is kind of narrating his own fight as he goes also. He's kind of talking. He's kind of letting him know what worked and what didn't. This guy's a character, man. A third good calf kick. And you can see the body language of Quintana. He, he's really losing stability. Yeah, as a matter of fact, when he turned on that leg to, to throw a kick of his own, he almost went down to the ground. The, it, the torque on that on that plant leg, it looked like it was it was very painful for him. Yeah, what happens on those calf kicks is it attacks that nerve that runs down that runs right down the shin bone, and it gives you a, a something called drop foot, where you can't really control the the torque and bend of your ankle. Guys will roll their ankles in the worst scenarios; they'll even like you know break a foot. But Hussein now landing four in a row. Good calf kicks. And if you've never felt something that feels like drop foot, go out and try to kick about 50 field goals in a row, and you'll feel what drop foot feels like. <laughs> All you have trying to go for that overhand right again. How's that stability looking, Alex, on that lead foot for Quintana? I mean, he threw a decent one too, but I'll tell you, man, the output of Quintana, it really is it's getting under my skin a little bit. You gotta make the most out of these title fights, especially considering Fury right now is at the at the peak of its of its promotion and production and, and skill level. This is the time to shine. And I think Quintana is just kind of letting this one slip away. I think he's throwing like fewer than 10 strikes in each round. Got the UFC 271 in town tomorrow night at Toyota Center as well. So a lot of high-level executives here from the UFC. If there's a time to catch an eye, this is it. I'd really like to see Hussein use the jab and go calf kick. Use the jab and go calf kick. And then use the jab and throw the lunchbox punch. <laughs> Decent three-piece there from, from, from Quintana. Good jab. I mean, we needed this 10 minutes ago. It's, he's, starting to, he's starting to get a little bit of action going now. But I've seen Hussein get busted up, get both of his eyes cut open bad, and he keeps trudging forward. So I'm saying you can't just touch him up, you're gonna have to put him out. Two minutes left in the third round. 145 pound strap on the line for Quintana. Seeing Deja Vu's hands are down. Expect that jab right hand there from Hussein. Yeah, I just don't think it, whenever you're down two and a half rounds to none uh, is the time to start showboating uh, <laughs> in, the middle of the, in the middle of the cage. I'd like to see Quintana just get to work here. I mean, I guess we'll have to see how the fight ends, but if it ends in devastating knockout fashion, you know, it may, it may be worth it. But Hussein with the flying knee. I Man, I, every minute I watch this guy fight, I like him more and more. The Azari Warrior trying to connect with that big knee, constantly pushing forward, constantly bringing the action. A nice exit uppercut that just misses. Hussein Aliyev has absolutely no chill in him at all. No. He is 100% gas to the floor. <laughs> And I guarantee I love you, it. you hook him up to a lie detector test, you ask him who the best the best featherweight in the world is, he answers himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He and gets it right. Like it. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I think the only way to describe Hussein Aliyev is he's about that life. Yes, he is. 
This is one of those guys, ladies and gentlemen, you do not want to run into and upset him out the streets. <laughs> 20 seconds left in the third round of our main event title fight, Fury FC 57. Thank you to everyone watching on UFC Fight Pass. Do you guys know if this is a five rounder? I assumed it was. Absolutely. As, okay, good. We got a couple more rounds left. I know with the weight miss, sometimes the rules change. From Yeah, from what we know, it is a five rounder, but if you're just joining us, Aliyev did miss weight, championship weight. He weighed in at 148, so the strap isn't on the line for him. The interim belt. I mean, he's up three rounds to none. One of them arguably at 10-8. He could be up four rounds to none going into the fourth round. That's a bad sign. Look at the highlights here of the third round. It's really the cap kicks that are most most notable. See a good one too from Quintana, but that was the best combo of the, of, of the fight form. A jab cross hook, the hook lands, but I can even see no output after that. Yeah, you see Oliev just his style is constantly moving forward. You know his takedowns are not textbooks, but. They're effective, man. Closing the distance in there because he doesn't mind taking a little bit of punishment to get to his end goal, which is closing that distance, getting in there, dirty boxing, getting him to the ground, and just wearing I mean, him out. None of Hussein's game is textbook, and I think that's what's making him so effective. Again, Aliyev, as soon as he gets up, he's ready to go. He's meeting in the middle. We got to get him a little. Calm down, calm yeah. down. I mean, the final five seconds of rest here. Championship rounds, and both guys look fresh as can be, which is surprising for Hussein because he's been doing all the action, putting all the output. Now, Katana again playing games, trying to bait in Aliyev with some of that head movement, trying to see if he can counter. I mean, that I guess that's it, guys, where you're just trying to get some kind of counter action. I mean, yeah, you know, you see guys like Cub Swanson. He kind of fights with his hands down, but uh, but but guys throw and they miss, and he counters them bad. And uh, and, and you know, you see Quin Quintana keep fighting with his hands down, but he's not really opening up. You know, throw a jab, and maybe throw a cross, but his combinations are somewhat limited. That looks like we may have another uh, match going on out here in the audience somewhere. Sometimes a little action outside the cage. That's right. People get very emotional. And now Quintana trying to connect something with that kick. Good low kick from Quintana, but then immediately met back by Hussein. And these rounds are all going the same, Alex. Quintana's coming out, he's doing a little showboating, and then he stops about halfway through because he's taking so much damage. I mean, it, I, just, I, I just need to see more volume out of Quintana. He's the longer fighter. He's the more experienced fighter. I mean... It, he made weight, he seems like he's in shape, he's just not pulling the trigger. He's gonna really, you know, if he loses his fight, he's gonna really bite himself in the butt here afterwards, thinking of, I mean, just a big missed opportunity. You know, and I hate to say it, but like, you know, I I'm gonna go back and watch some tape, seeing that he's 19 and three, I just don't, I don't see where that's coming from. In the records of the guys he beat, though were semi inexperienced, the records weren't upside down. He beat a lot of positive record guys, I mean, 30-year-old fighter, came back in 2021 at Fury FC 53. Looking for a fight where he beat Edwin Chavez. Yeah, Aliyev takes him back down with that big slam back down to the mat. And again, Aliyev not doing a lot of damage while he's down there, but just doing it over and over. And then as Quintana stands up, he's not really able to get anything going. Aliyev just all over him. You know, Alex, to your point where there was a break there for Quintana. And even though that record is tremendous and fought some really good guys, there was a break there of a, about two and a half, three years. Oh, that calf kick really, really hurt him. He went to go plant his foot on and he had to bail all that weight off that lead leg. Oh, and another one. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, he can get a stoppage. He keeps hitting that calf kick. Those are miserable techniques to get hit with. And they're relatively the new. Now. Oh, yeah. It's Quintana. doesn't want any more damage. <laughs> Hussein just starts calf kicking the other leg. Yeah. See how right? red that left leg is. And swollen. I mean, you can see it swelling in front of our eyes. Oh, another one. 
Even though one, that one barely grazed, but it's got to hurt each time when it's that bruised. And I, you, you can see that the spring is gone in Quintana's, in Quintana's yeah. step. He's not bouncing around anymore. He's flat-footed. He's trying his hardest to, to show some footwork here, but just nothing doing so far. Naliev is just locked in on that calf. Here are two things I don't want to do, gentlemen. The dishes and taking calf cakes yeah. from Aliyev. Yeah, I, uh, I've actually given up takedowns in the past so I can make sure to check kicks. I've never been low kicked hard in a fight. I've had 40 fights. I check them. And man, I do not want to get calf kicked. That is not on my bucket list. Man, it's not just the calf kicks. Every time Quintana gets up against the cage, Aliyev will stomp on his toes. <laughs> <laughs> He'll kick him in the heel. I mean, he is just a constant output of just I'll hit you anywhere. He's busting up both legs. Alex, that the switch stance, and now he's eating him on the right calf. I mean, Aliyev is just dominating right now in our title fight at Fury FC 57. Man, I got to give huge props to Hussein Aliyev. His last fight, he, he won a decision. It was very close against one of my fighters. My fighter did a lot of damage. Hussein did a lot more activity. He has cleaned up so much, man. I, I'm a fan of his fighting style. He's taken it to the more experienced fighter. He's making him look bad. <laughs> Aliyev is not stopping. He wants to make a statement here. <laughs> that Aliyev put on a little show himself. Oh, Ooh. that calf kick. Calf kick and then an overhand right, right in the same movement. All preceded by a spinning back kick. Man, what another dominating round by Hussein Aliyev, the Azari warrior. <laughs> Hussein Aliyev walks to the wrong corner. Takes a stroll around the Fury cage, back on a stool, and he looks fresh. He's smiling. I mean, I, I can't believe how one-sided this fight is. Yeah, this is. I told Paris Moran after the last fight, I was like, it's amazing to me how exciting you can make a decision look. And Aliyev's doing the exact same thing. And then, and this is a one. This is a one-man dance. I mean, you knew you need two to tango, but Aliyev's like, all right, if you're not gonna throw anything, fine, I'll throw everything. <laughs> So let me ask you, as we watch these highlights here of Hussein Aliyev just putting on a clinic, obviously you want that signature win, that knockout, that submission with so many execs here. But a dominating five round, if it holds, we still have the fifth round here, if it holds. Is that a little bit more impressive, just to show that I'm ready? I was about to tell you, yeah, I think winning all... 25 minutes against the guy with a crazy good record and a lot of experience. I mean, that speaks volumes. You know, anyone can get lucky and land a, a big lunchbox and a punch, which he already did, but to beat him up, to beat him up over 25 minutes potentially is, is in my opinion, more impressive for him. Yeah, I don't think that the rules were the same for both guys. I think this kind of fight benefits Hussein Aliyev, but if, if Andres Quintana would have won the same way that, that uh, Hussein is, I think it would have it, it would have looked negative on him, and you know because he's a, such a highly touted fighter, because his record is so good, you know the expectation is that you come in here at a at a regional show and you win these belts and you take these fights and you and you do the damage you're supposed to do. Yeah, and my coach even asked. He said, you know, is he going to get buzzsawed? That was the word he used wow. in this matchup, and I was like, you know what? I don't know. And man, we were both so wrong. Sometimes I called that's it. Why. I knew he was going to win. No, yeah. I'm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had it right here. Look, I already circled no. <laughs> yeah. And that's why we get inside the cage, gentlemen. On paper, it might look one way, but the spirit, the determination of yeah, Aliyev I... has really stood out here. And we just missed that big takedown. Just another one where, with ease. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and Aliyev just constantly putting pressure. And I guarantee you, he hasn't landed any leg kicks in here, but Quintana is still feeling those leg kicks from the last four rounds. I mean, he's trying to push it against. You see his technique is a little bit different now up against the cage than it was before because it hurts to plant that hard up against the cage to try to make sure that they don't get their hands in between your leg and, and, and the cage. 3.20 left in the final round here. And Fury FC 57, Andres the Bullet Quintana trying to catch lightning in a bottle, maybe. Pull something off here, trying to get that strap. But it's going to be tough because the Azeri warrior, Hussein Aliyev, has been dominant the entire 
fight. Quintana's gonna, he's gonna have to get a, an emphatic finish, which means he's gonna have to throw something big and hard, which he's not done. And beyond that, now his mobility is very compromised. If he is a tank, his treads have been busted. Oh man, that left leg looks horrible I mean, right now. Yeah, he's got lumps all over the front of that leg. I mean, it's swollen and swelling. Yeah, somebody's gonna be bringing him suit tomorrow, win or lose. He's, <laughs> yeah, somebody's gonna be bringing ice bath. him. Yeah, oh. he'll be laying in an ice bath. I mean, for Tom, don't egg him on because he's coming. He's, he's the one coming forward. Two fifteen left, fifth and final round. He needs more than one. Quintana does. He's been very timid, you know, this whole fight. Yeah, and Aliyev's got to be expecting him to come and be aggressive in the last however long of this fight. You know, whenever Quintana decides to turn it up, it's going to be the last 30 seconds, the last minute, whatever it is. Showing a little bit more life here uh, with just a couple of minutes left in the fifth round, but that'd be too little, too late. A little cup check there. I mean, Quintana's focusing on all the wrong aspects, man. He, he got hit in the cup. He's like, ah, you know, what's up with that? But, you know, you, you're going to have to take some risk. You're going to have to step in there. I'll take a shot at the cup if I can land some punches. I mean, this fight is, is running away from him. Here's the replay of that cup check. And yeah, that it, it maybe, maybe winged the bottom of this cup. That was just an in, that was a high inside kick. Good right hand there from Quintana. He needs about 20 more of those in the next 90 seconds. Yeah, and you see all he had during the break there. He was over there talking to his fans over there, and they're being extremely loud. You know, look at Hussein. He shoots in from a double. He gets stuffed, and on the lift, he throws a left hook. Mm. Quintana lands point, a couple of punches there, but all he have shakes it right off. At one point, if you're his corner, you never want to think like this. I get it, but look, you're up in a dominant blowout fashion right now. <laughs> at what point do you go, all right, take him down, and let's just let's just go home with this win. Let's not get caught with anything. I don't think that exists in Hussein Aliyev's I, I, fight pocket. I agree. Got his hands connected. He's going to finish this double, and he gets him down before I can even finish the sentence. One minute left. Under one minute left here. Final round. Yeah, you're catching a good eye for, for higher level MMA tactics. I mean, I think the takedown was the best, safest choice here. At some point, right? I mean, there's nothing. Look, he's up in a, it's, it's been a blowout right now. He's been dominating all four rounds. Why leave it up to chance? I'd be curious if we see a 60-44, because I do believe that second round was a 10-8 round. Blowing him out of the water on the judges' scorecards all very unofficial you know from us but yeah, still just between the homies yeah <laughs> hussein aliyev took a break from 2018 to 2021 now trying to become the first azerbaijani to get to the ufc and he's one step closer man i'll be honest i i can't tell you if he deserves it or not but i hope he gets there i hope he's i hope he this is an amazing fight against a top tier opponent I hope Aliyev gets there. Yeah, Hussein breaks the mold, man. I mean, he doesn't got any, any advantages other than that mindset of his. We take a look at the highlights of our fifth round. Aliyev just going back to work like there was no break in between rounds. It was 25 minutes of just consistent domination. Oh no, we got a, a hug on the ground there. <laughs> Takes his coach down. I, I, he's, I said, still, I, he's still looking to score. <laughs> so you guys can't see this at home right now. We're looking at the highlights on our screen, but we're also looking inside the cage. And Aliyev just took down his coach in celebration. And I'm thinking when the Diaz brothers got in there. Oh, <laughs> man, like, oh, a no. little scrap. <laughs> thinking, what happened? But man, what a win for the Azeri Warrior. Hussein Aliyev will move to 13 and 4 and 1. The judge is making the final tally marks. Get oh, everything set. It's funny, you can see him. 
putting the belt away. I mean, the decision goes to <laughs> the <awkward>. same. <laughs> no, 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 no belt for this one. But yeah, no. if, you, if you're just joining us, the belt was only on the line for Quintana because of the missed weight by Aliyev. Missed it by three pounds, 148 for him. Official decision coming into spinning the ring card girls. They were like, oh man, I'm not too sure. I didn't know that was a thing. And look, I get it. There are things that he can tighten up as a professional. You don't want to miss weight. But all that aside, you know, with the brutal weight cut, that was one of the things I was going to ask you. Like, how is that going to play in? Because he missed it. It could have been a brutal weight cut. And he looked like the fresh yeah, did great. guy who had the easiest weight cut ever. And he looked fantastic in Hussein Ali. Yes. Huge win here at... Fury FC 57 on UFC Fight Pass. I mean, other than the missed weight, that was a perfect performance from Hussein. And don't forget, we do have a swing bout for all of our fans who want a little bit more fighting on Facebook. And let's go inside to Wayne for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after th five rounds of combat, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision brought to you by Aces Performance Exhaust with scores of 49-46, 49-46, and 50-44. Your winner by unanimous decision, the Azeri Warrior, Hussein Aliyev! Hussein does not pick up the championship because he missed